Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about temperature conversions and how to convert from degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius and degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Now the first thing that we need to realize is the freezing point in Celsius is 0 degrees, the boiling point in Celsius is 100 degrees. When we go to the Fahrenheit, the freezing point in Fahrenheit is 32 and the boiling point is going to be 212. So as we can see here and as we compare, we can see that the initial temperature, the number, is going to be less in the Celsius than it is the freezing point. So we'll go ahead and do a, show you an equation that will show you what exactly you need to do to convert. So to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we're going to take 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32. For example, let's say that we have 103 degrees Fahrenheit. 103 degrees Fahrenheit. If we take this value and plug it in to the F, we're going to have degrees Celsius equals 5 ninths times 103 minus 32. And when we calculate this in a calculator, that's going to give us C equals 39.4 degrees Celsius. So from here, for example, in Arizona, it gets up to 103 all the time. If I wanted to convert it to Celsius, I would say that's 39.4 degrees Celsius. Now, if you're good at algebra, you can go ahead and figure out Celsius to Fahrenheit, or I can just give you another equation that might help. So if you're good with memorizing equations, go ahead and memorize both these equations. Just make sure you don't get them confused. So the equation for Celsius to Fahrenheit it's going to be 9 fifths times the degree Celsius minus 32. So for example, let's say we have 27 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius. We would take that and plug it in there. So negative 5, or sorry, degree Fahrenheit time 9.5 times 27 degrees Celsius minus 32. That's going to give us the degrees in Fahrenheit, which is going to be 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's how you go ahead and do the temperature conversion. So go ahead, find out what degree it is right now, wherever you're at, and go ahead and try to convert it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and you'll be able to practice that way.